Yep. Yep, that's my life. That's what I do. That's what I do for a living. And immediately in danger mode. Nice. Come on down. There we go. Okay. No, not as hard as I remember. I'll just walk right through your big dumb body. <laughs> oh, I was... I was nervous there for a second. <laughs> not gonna lie. Neptune scene and stage were really sweet. Um, just because, like, that didn't really, they didn't really even say that was just a zombie shark, or possibly just a just big angry shark. <laughs> No, don't. I must say, um, in the interest of all things, Resident Evil, this is hands down. I'm sure I'm not the only person, but hands down, my favorite Resident Evil. Period. Just my Fitch is number one. I know that's like the least original re favorite Resident Evil. Everybody loves this one. And they should, because it's the best. It really is the best one. And it's not that the other games are bad by any means. They're all they're all pretty solid. Except for like Gun Survivor. Which is just don't just no. Gun Survivor is not really a Resident Evil game. Like Operation or yeah, Operation Raccoon say that's not really Resident Evil. Um, <laughs> come on. Come on. But, uh, out of the numbered, or numbered slash traditional Resident Evils, this has got to be number one. With good reason. I mean, you got a bunch of cool side characters, you've got a plot that's actually mildly engaging. It, it was just great. Yeah, five and... Well, 5 to me is just a straight up, it's just like Gears of War. 5 is just Gears of Resident Evil, or Ge Gears of Evil, or Resident War, or Gears of Evil Residence War 3. Um, but 6, Leon's campaign, solid. It, it, it's, it's a good game. Um, but anything else out of six, like Chris's campaign is just a cover base shooter, and I don't care 
Is there a number in here? Oh, here's the other metal. You can't carry it. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Oh, wipe it away. Gonna regret that later. I know I'm going to. Which all these corpses with items. See, and that's that's kind of like one of those things where I never got, I never was like serious enough about this game as a kid to like do all that stuff or like unlock the alternate costumes or do any of that fun stuff just because I wasn't wasn't good enough um, and that's definitely not the playthrough I'm going for now not at all I'm just doing this have a good time <laughs> but it would be really cool and part of me just wants to play this game on like <clears throat> the super easy mode where you just get a ton of free stuff. That too would be pretty rad. You start with like infinite rocket launcher. <laughs> like, just make the game just dumb easy. I was thinking about doing Claire after this. Um, I'm not sure if I want to, though. I might finish my Kingdom Hearts playthrough. I might play through another Resident Evil. No idea. Genuinely, no clue. Yeah, <laughs> start the game with, like, infinite ammo and just... Just... No. Just the game is just not even a... Why are you even playing? Like... I know some of you guys are probably, uh, I want to play the RE make, like the, the remake of the first one for GameCube, and I have a Wii U, um, so I can just, I'm gonna do that. It is, but like, yeah. <laughs> Machine Galaga. The RE make is just... Come on. There's just moments in that game where, like, the last time I played the RE make, this is what happened. I got to the Yawn fight, um, and I had, it. I had like, totally spaced the, 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 like, way that that game is laid out. I forgot the order of events. And, uh, I went to the, the Yawn fight, like, the second Yawn fight, and literally had like four shotgun shells and like five rounds of my handgun and like my knife and I'm sure like super hardcore pros out there can do that they can just muscle their way through that and beat Yon but this guy just just could not do it I just could not do that and I died a horrible sad death oh, get, get, get Ada Where they float? Yeah, and like that's the thing that a lot of people don't get, and that that's the, to me is the huge difference between 
sur survival horror and modern day survival horror. Um, the fact that part of what makes these games challenging isn't necessarily like the games are just hard, because they're not. Like, this isn't really a hard game. It, it's The monsters go down with a set number of shots. I know I need to use this right now. Um, and, like, they're pretty slow moving for the most part, except for some of the, like, harder bosses. But what makes these games, like, come on, difficult, is the fact that in this game, uh, this is just, these are not the accurate numbers, but let's just say there's 200 handgun rounds, 100 shotgun shells, and 50 variant ammo, like everything else. And that's it. And what you choose to do with it, that's all up to you. And you can go around, you can blow stuff away, and just be a complete badass for the first like couple hours of the game. But man, your life is going to just be straight up terrible once we get to that latter portion of the game. When you're fighting bosses and you just have nothing. you just tapped out. There's nothing left for you. So what makes this game hard isn't necessarily the enemies or the situations you put in. It's the ridiculous item management. I mean, you've, you've got to just... When you want to gun stuff down and look cool... You can't. You just gotta suck it up and realize you just can't do it. Because you'll find yourself in a situation, and this is something that gaming just doesn't do anymore, which is sad, is uh, where they'll just let you lose. Like, you lose. That's it. You're done. Like, you get to a point where you screwed up. You messed it up. I don't remember if I'm supposed to actually fight anything here. And again, it really does depend on all how you like all about how you play. But I distinctly remember, like as a first-time player, I was seven years old when I played the first Resident Evil, and I remember just charging through. And as soon as an enemy would come up, I'd blow him away. And then there's that like tyrant, that tyrant fight. Um, the first time you fight tyrant after he takes out Wesker. And I just laid into him like, oh, like I mean, th I really, th I think it only really takes like three magnum shots to put him down, three or four. But I just, bruh, 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 and I just poured all my ammo into him. And I distinctly remember not being able to finish that game because I had dumped all my ammo into that confrontation, and now I was just screwed. Like that was it. Of course, as an adult, you know. As an adult, things weren't as challenging because, like, like you said, you you kind of have a better understanding, a better grasp of what's going on, and how to, you know, when to dodge, when to fight, when to conserve ammo, when you can be a little reckless. But as a kid, because that's when most of these games came out. I mean, I don't know how old some of you guys are, but I'm 23, so these games came out when I was seven and eight years old. You know, I didn't have that. Oh crap. Masterful, do masterful dodger. Um, I didn't have the uh, knowledge to dodge. <laughs> like, I didn't have um, the like foresight to be like, oh, I should probably conserve this and use this later at a key pivotal moment. I just blew blowy zowie, blow everything to bits. Like I was saying earlier, some of you guys who...